Two former walk-ons on the floor for Wisconsin, including Leisinger in the corner. Yes! Williams able to corral it, and the spin in a blink of an eye, she scores. It's a great job of not settling on that possession. Wisconsin is at their best when they move it around a little bit, assisted. Assisted shots. Excellent angle by Johnson, getting in to poke that away, then sprinting the floor. She gets the deep post up, and just that easy, Minnesota needed that. She's, you know, trying to not pick through the positives there. That's a coach. That's just <laughs> such a coach. Brain. Janae Sanders, good extension and a high finish off the glass. Working through traffic, Johnson's going to have to heave. It'll be Graholski getting it off in time for three. Right block layup off the window, and Ellis comes the other way. Ellis blocked by Aroll on down low. Hageman driving, Joyner for three. Could this be a thousand? And it is! Moira Joyner, welcome to the record books, number a thousand. It was because of this play right here. Moira Joyner with the three from the left wing, eclipsing herself to that a thousand point mark. Good slide by Terry. And Hageman finds the open cutter in Tate, and Tate can't finish. And now a deep outlet pass to Ellis, and that's a good play. Grabbing that right ankle a little bit. She could have rolled it. Still hobbling on it as Purdue has possession. Now Jones coming the other way. Ellis is left open from the corner again, and she hits it again for three. Ellis now trying to work the offense, but a good step through steal from Aroll. Aroll now taking it coast to coast for two. Which is unheard of for a Freelicker in Michigan State roster right now. So quick press breaker, and now Osmond will drive all the way, and one powerful move down low by Tori Osmond. Ball, as you see right here, ripping over her body to the right side, going right up for that easy layup. This fiery offense looking to add more points here at the start of the match. Van Sellers, top of the key, moving into the near side. Here's a three attempt. It's good. Bree McDaniel. The Wolverines sit at nil on the board. Lavender breaks. Moves it out to the top. Now to the near far side corner. The three is up, and it's good. Maryland up 15 over Michigan. For the Big Ten's best defense, struggling so far against Maryland. And wow! Guys off the backboard to score for the Wolverines. And what a shot. Right at the wing. Wolverines swing it all the way around. Felia cuts in. Step back jumper. Another two for Michigan. Just over a minute 30 remaining in the quarter. Quick move and another handoff. It's off the rim. On the rebound, though. Absolutely. And Hobbs has a bit of, little bit more wiggle in her driving game than some of the other Michigan perimeter players has, can get her own shot. And this roster needs that. Other than Feely and Hansen, it's a bit of a hole. It's, there's a nice take there, but. Taking them some time to get comfortable here as the game has started. Here's McMahon picking up right where she left off, that time from the outside. Ohio State trying to work into its offense. Sheldon Curl blocked by Bostic. Taylor off the handoff. She goes down to Parks. And after almost eight minutes, McKenzie rejects the screen. Pauses in the air. The acrobatic finish from McKenzie. Right after this break, we will send you to the Xfinity 10G Network halftime. Boston tries to add to her total, but taken away by Parks. Here come the Buckeyes. Downhill again for Taylor. That time she converts. Never keep themselves out of it. Bryant trapped. They got to get it off before the shot clock. It counts. Just in time. Great find to Casey Harder. That freshman cannot get the roll and the rebound to Brigham. 
Jay Chesky, three-pointer good. We're gonna see a lot of three-pointers. This is one of the best three-point shooting teams in the country. Penn State, I was shocked. It was six seconds before Penn State got a shot off, but this right here, this type of offense, this is what I expect to see from Penn State all night, getting it up quickly. Get Missed the first 15 games, listed as out or questionable on injury report all year long. The first game, three games ago against Rutgers. Here's another turnover for Penn State. Up ahead they go. Shania pin two, the finish. That's what you gotta do. If there's a double team, you know someone is open. So you it's up to you. The ball finds energy. You've got to make that cut. Mel Daly did. McKenna Marisa with her first points of the day. She is now eight away from 2,000 in her career. Back to a double-digit lead. Beaver swatted by Grace Hall. For Penn State, it's got to be NBA, next best action. Walsh, shot clock does not reset. Lau on the drive. That's a great look for zero on the shot clock. We're aware of the time running off the clock, but Caroline Lau was, and she gets into the pain with her little floater, which you learn how to, to develop and perfect. Three on the shot clock for Harder. Lau's got a fire. What a shot! When you consider the arc and the degree of difficulty on this shot with the clock. Joyner. Picked up a dribble. Hageman all alone. And starts things off with a bang for Joyner. Nine for Philia. Spartans and Wolverines going at it on Big Ten Plus. Aroll, face up. Gets to her spot, draws the foul, and finishes through contact. Michigan State team came in as a guard, played a couple of seasons, then missed an entire. Freshman out of Minnesota. And Joyner with a steal, pass to Osman in the bucket. Sets up failure. Pass too high for Williams, and Arolt with a steal. Bounce to Osman. She gets the layup to go. Michigan still scoreless in this quarter. Arol spot up at the top. Bottom of the net for Julia Arol. Cam Schrader to Hanson. Williams got Arol in the air. The end one. Both teams at a breakneck pace to start. It'll be interesting because both of them had a bye week. Clark, long three, and we are now officially underway in this matchup. Iowa getting the start in transition, what they do so well. State, they worked a lot on their offense this past week in practice. Natalie Potts, one of 16 from three in Big Ten play. This is what makes Iowa so dangerous. And immediately a timeout called by Amy Williams. Caitlin Clark wide open, the big sin in this game. And Clark pushing ahead. This is what Iowa can kill you with. I have two others in addition to that. Yeah, and she's never scored less than 30 points against Nebraska in seven tries. Had 41 in the Big Ten tournament semifinals as she drops it off to Stolke. And that's how the magic happens. Iowa continuing to attack. So much attention given to Clark that that leaves Stokey wide open. Watch how Stokey just moves into the vision, and what a whip pass. Here today, 43 points shy of surpassing her. Two to shoot for Clark. She'll need the heroics here, and does it. Is anyone surprised? Was winding down, it gets away from Clark. Look at Jess, she only knows. I know she's going to shoot out there, and she still creates the space. And she looks like she made Jazz Shelley think that she was going to use that screen. And, and instead, and you saw Shelley just lean just a little bit. And that. Order navigating inside there. Sarah Williams, clear path to the basket and the first points of the game. 18 turnovers for Wisconsin against Minnesota were something that she wanted to improve upon. Nice pass down low by Schrammick to Williams. Turner inside, there goes Adams, up and blocked by Williams. Trying to tightrope the baseline to stay inbounds and does, and another block by Williams. Performance in the paint has, it gives defensive problems where 
Make Defense for Wisconsin holding strong so far over halfway through the quarter and just two points for the Scarlet Knights. Pettacord, another block by Williams. Turner comes to guard, gets it inside. Leisinger cuts and scores oh, yeah. as the buzzer sounds. What a quarter for Wisconsin. They lead 22-3. Two free throws. They only shot two free throws in the first quarter, and Wisconsin only shot eight free throws. Well, Wisconsin trying to get their first points in the quarter. Williams, pace, spins, and scores. 24-6, Wisconsin. Made a huge impact for Penn State. A former Maryland Terrapin herself. Marisa, wing three, bullseye. Get time out. McKenna Marisa leading the way for Penn State with five. Short, Re offensive rebound, Brown Turner working on Marisa, going into the low post. Dishes it down to Kubek, who gets an easy gimme. And Maryland gets their second consecutive bucket. Tay Valade buries a triple. And now Penn State with the full court press. Kapanis gets a turnover, feeds Valade. Valade going up with the left hand and finishes it off. Inside turnover, Ellie Campbell moving the other way. Five seconds on the clock, feeds Marisa. Marisa going up with the right hand and lays it in at the buzzer. We see Penn State change up their defenses here on the fly, get a trap, fantastic rotation by Ellie Campbell. And then look at feeding the McKenna Marisa, streaking down right before the buzzer. The game, four points for Sellers. Now Wusu driving. Wusu all the way to the rack, and one. Ashley Owusu starting to feel it. Not one, but two drag screens. The first one by Brigham, the second one by Odin. And is able to finish that. They were five of five, now five of six. Owusu quickly the other way. Foul called, and the bucket. Ashley Owusu cannot be stopped. Here he takes in, fires it back out to Taylor. And Taylor will take this one, puts it up, and sinks it with ease. It's a great turnout once again. Only Purdue player to get more than 180 assists in two season. And once again, Michaela Shkova gets that one inside and gets the foul. And really just waiting on a three from either side. Nice job there by Jones to intercept that what was heading to Green and sends it and Go straight into line and one. And that's a big play there. Favor for them. Oh yeah, and Rashonda Jones has such speed. And for me, it's her agility to adjust in the air, be able to finish off the win. To her freshman counter Bart Jones, who's looking just to set it and take it inside. Does a nice job until she met Taylor, who denies her and brings it up the other side. Five minutes left to go in this second quarter. And you can feel the tempo and the atmosphere just have started to click in. Layden tried to send out what was a tough shot. But misses two point blank looks. She'd like to have those back. You're right, but watch that dynamic there. Hobby taking the three, drew Sophie Hart outside. Higher connects from deep. Rebound Hobby. Illinois looking to push it up floor. They get it to Makaira Cook. Down low to McKenzie off the glass and in. Yeah, beautiful feed in there to McKenzie. All five of the Gophers on the outside on the three point line there. They tried to take it in, but Illinois did a good job running back to the paint. Cook for three, Schmeck! And they'll be holding for the last shot of this quarter. Illinois tries to double team back on top to Heyer. She fires a three, Schmeck! Quick ball movement right there from Heyer. It's blocked and that was collected by Sophie Hart down low. A nice move by Heyer and it's picked off by Bryant. Coming up the other way, it's a two on one. And a nice move from Bryant puts two on the board. Take it back out to Moore McNeil. Now down low against Holmes. And tough lay underneath the basket. 50-24, Indiana leads Northwest. For Northwestern, Garzone snatches the rebound. Her second. Straight away triple. You betcha. She had 16 points in the first half. Four for eight from the floor. Eight for eight. To Mott. They look for Walsh immediately over the smaller La Mandola, and she's finally on the board. To go to Meister again. Good move. She gets around Kaylee Walsh and finishes plus the foul. Minutes, but she really always looks impressive when she's in. Yeah, just averaging 10 minutes a game and 
Northwestern just having a tough time putting the ball in the net. They're two of their last 10. Moore McNeil through the contact. So something to monitor the foul trouble for Indiana. Here's Moore McNeil with two seconds to the rim at the buzzer.